The Looper plugin contained within Ableton is the foundation for improvisational performances as well as sound design. Actions that would be extremely difficult to perform multiple times in a row can be captured and immediately played back, enabling the performer to focus on another feature of the music all while building up a unique combination of audio and effect automation. Although the looper looks quite simple there is much depth contained within it. Your looper should look exactly like the picture above, with these settings in place. 1. Make sure that the plug-in on-off button is mapped to the same button on your controller as the begin record button. This will make it so that when you activate the looper it will immediately begin recording audio, and when you turn it off it will lose all of the previous audio allowing you to record fresh material when you decide to activate it again. 2. In the record section, choose the amount of time you would like the looper to record for. Also be aware of the play and overdub controls, both are effective in different ways. With the play button selected, after your loop is recorded, only the loop material will play. With overdub selected, the looper will continue to record audio and add it to your loop continuously. Make sure that start song is selected under song control and set and follow song tempo is set to tempo control. Set the quantization to global. Quantization determines when your loop will start to record. For example, if quantization is set to one bar, the looper will wait until the beginning of the next bar before recording. If it is set to none, it will start to record instantly. Not only does the looper record raw audio, but also any automation and modulation of effects that are placed before it. For example, The input-output section determines whether audio from the channel will be heard after the loop is complete. With the Always setting, you can layer sounds on top of the looped audio without recording to the looped audio. With the Rec Over Stop setting, you cannot layer sounds on top of the looped audio. Both are good for different situations, with loops it is best to use Rec Over Stop, and with percussive sounds that are not loops it is best to use Always. In this project, the bass, clap, and hi-hats are set to always. Sample 1 and sample 2 are set to rec over stop, so even though the samples are still playing in their channel, you can only hear the looper. The plus button, known as overdub, will add new layers of sound to the previous audio already in the looper. Everything in the channel will be recorded and played back. It is useful to MIDI map the overdub button close to your looper button. In the diagram, the looper activation button is red, and the overdub button is blue. The feedback setting determines whether your overdubs will stay at 100% volume or fade away over time. One can also save looped audio as a WAV file. This can be particularly interesting for mash-up samples that are all in the same channel. In a matter of seconds, 
you can create a unique loop that contains multiple genres of music, all on the fly. These loops can then be converted to WAV files, and used as the foundation, for new arrangements and beats. To save your loop, as a WAV file, left click on the drag me button, and then drag the file to an empty audio slot in session view. The WAV file will be saved in your Ableton project, in the recorded folder. For those that use synthesizers or any other VST instrument, you can loop audio from a MIDI channel, easily. Go to the MIDI channel, and make sure the monitor is set to in, and is armed, to record. Then, go to an empty audio channel, that has a looper, inside of it. Finally, under the audio from menu, select the MIDI channel you would like to receive audio from. Finally, there are many possibilities for live performances, when using overdubs, and recorded, MIDI instruments. One performer, can set his own bass line on 8 bars, then spend another 8 bars crafting a melody, and then solo on top of the song he has just created. Here is an example. There are very many applications for the looper, so please experiment and try new things. This has been an Ultra Harmonics recording. Thank you for watching.